Animals display an incredible amount of variation. The one scientific theory which has stood the test of time in explaining this diversity is Darwin's law of natural selection. At its core, natural selection is a simple process. It requires variation, that differences exist between individuals, heritability, that differences can be passed on to offspring, and differential success, meaning some variants are favored over others. While we understand heritability and differential success very well, there is a lot we still don't understand about variation, particularly when it comes to the evolution of novel structures. How could birds evolve from reptiles if reptiles don't have feathers? How can eyes be favored if animals don't have eyes? Scientists used to think that novel structures evolved primarily from the evolution of new genes. But when we compare DNA from animals across the tree of life, scientists have discovered that many developmentally important genes are shared between the major groups of animals. This suggests that new structures are more likely to evolve by changes in gene expression during development than by the evolution of new genes entirely. My research looks at one of the oldest branches of animal life, the Cnidarians. In particular, I'm studying the moon jellyfish, Aurelia arita, because it is one of the only Cnidarians to have simple eyes. Using genetic and developmental techniques, I look for conserved genes that the jellyfish has to see if they are used in a similar manner as other animals. This gives us new insight into the ways genes function and ultimately control animal development. To find out more about my research, please visit my website at www.davidgoldlab.com or check out my blog at www.bioblueprints.blogspot.com.